Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. There was a little bit of confusion, so I'm going to start with Penguin Random House because I need to double check some stuff myself as we go. I'm not going to explain the confusion because it is way too complicated and involved. So we're looking at the mailer. These should be comics for this week, but we're not 100% sure. Let's look and see. Um, starting with the mailer. That's damaged. That's damaged. And that's damaged. So we got My Little Pony, Best of Pinkie Pie. And... Star Trek The Motion Picture Echoes, number four. You can see the damage there. You can see the damage on these Pinkie Pie comics. So, looks like Penguin Random House, who was doing a fabulous job up until about two months ago, is now sending out more damaged stuff than Diamond. Well, not more. I shouldn't say that. That's not even close. But anyhow, let's check this mailer. This doesn't feel like much. Maybe one daintily packaged comic. Oh, I think it's even a poster. I don't even know what this is. It's a poster. Poster for something. Doesn't matter. So, these were in a bigger box with some packing material. But I had to open them in a hurry and uh, make some phone calls to Penguin Random House before they closed for the day or else there would have been a total disaster. So here we go with these. Whatever they are, a big square bound Amazing Spider-Man number 31. This is the George Perez variant. For Amazing Spider-Man number 31, it is square bound with the cover price of $9.99. That's a lot for a comic book, but it is, sure is a nice one. Uh, here's the Greg Land variant for Amazing Spider-Man 31. I forget the artist's name, but here's the negative space variant which I'm uh, a little curious why I ordered four copies of that one. Seems like a lot for me. Uh, this one looks regular. Yes, this is the regular cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 31, also known as Amazing Spider-Man number 925. This is the regular cover with also the $10 cover price, $9.99. And there's a bunch more of those. So there's that. Those are not damaged. So maybe I'm being a little too harsh on the penguin. But they're definitely slacking lately. But I shouldn't have said that about them being as bad as diamond. Because they're not. Revolutionary technology. <sighs> and what do we got here? Ghost Rider Wolverine Weapons of Vengeance number one. That is a variant edition. It's the Mark Texier variant. Super awesome. This is the same book, Ghost Rider Wolverine, Weapons of Vengeance. That is a variant. This is the George Perez variant. That one's awesome, and I will probably keep that. Ooh, there's another to sell to the customer. Star Wars Max Rebo, number one. That was one of the Jabba's Palace connecting variants. 
And those suckers, they made more of those than I was expecting. But that's good, I guess. Captain Marvel Dark Tempest number two. What is this? That's some Alex Ross right there. Avengers number four. I believe that to be a connecting variant, obviously by Alex Ross. That's pretty awesome. Silk number four. Red Goblin number seven. Here's the facsimile edition of Werewolf by Night number 33. That is the second appearance of Moon Knight. And Children of the Vault number one. Let's take a look inside of this number one issue. Let's see. Is the... Give it a little tappy. I think the cover stock is the same as the paper inside. That's something we look at now with these Marvel books as they're making them cheaper and cheaper and charging more and more. And that's your interior art. Doing a horrible job showing that. Interior art for Children of the Vault number one with the $4.99 cover price, which in my opinion should mean it has a cover. Max Rebo, number one regular cover. Let's take a look inside at Max Rebo, who is, of course, the leader of the Max Rebo band. And I'm sure this goes over the, uh, the problems of performing music at Jabba's Palace. Guardians of the Galaxy, number five. Star Wars, Dark Droids. Okay, this is Star Wars, number 37, apparently. And I guess part of the Dark Droids story art crossover, whatever there. Immortal X-Men, number 14. And here's the regular cover for Ghost Rider Wolverine Weapons of Vengeance number one. We will take a look inside. Give it tappies. Yep. Floppy, flimsy cover. This is your art. For Ghost Rider Wolverine Weapons of Vengeance number one with a $4.99 cover price. Does feel a little thicker than the others. So maybe it's okay to charge an extra dollar. I don't know. Avengers number four. It's got a little tribute to John Romita with Spider-Man 50 there in remembrance of John Romita. Super cool guy, great artist. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number nine. <clears throat> Spider-Man Contest of Chaos Spider-Man number one is that the name of it? I don't know as we'll look at the Indica in one second oh wow okay this is just called Spider-Man Annual number one not to be confused with Amazing Spider-Man Annual number whatever that came out last week. Which is also number one. Happen to have a copy here. It's not this. It's this. Uh, also, number one, we'll take a look inside. And I just noticed they're doing this tribute to John Romita inside, which is super awesome. Should definitely be a tribute to that man. Who is... I'll go ahead and say it. The... Second best Spider-Man comic artist of all time. And... Also, the best com Spider-Man comic artist of all time was not Todd McFarlane. 
No, it was not. It was Steve Ditko. And what's in this box? Look at this. Wow. I hate that you guys missed that. There's this box with all this paper, packing paper, and it's got this thing here advertising the multiverse role play game and this Star Trek poster. Now they use all this packing paper to package this. And it was in this box, this this large, large box. In fact, it's better than a lot of the comics. Oh, Penguin. Okay, so now we'll move to Lunar. This box was inside of another box. Um, with packing material. And I had to take it out earlier to use to recycle the pad the, the packing material to ship some stuff so anyhow it was well packaged you've seen it before standard lunar packaging we got a bunch of bubble wrap large pieces of bubble wrap Let's save that for the next thing and it's a pretty small order Oh, Lunar is now carrying BCW products. They want us to know. We'll just go ahead and do an ad for, for Lunar. Now offers BCW comic supplies. Um, I will say that I use BCW comic supplies. And uh, I get them from BCW, not Lunar. Very easy to get a BCW account. And uh, they're very good distributors. Or whatever they are. Flash. Uh, number 800. Blank variant. Got a couple of those. I always get blanks. They seem to have longevity in the aftermarket. Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries number 11 of 12. Batman Incorporated number 11. Is that a uh, homage cover to that one with Anarchy from the 90s? I don't know. Danger Street, number eight. This is a variant cover. It is cardstock. Give it the tappy. And that's got a super awesome Warlord cover. Let's just look at this for a minute. I think that's Mike Grell, I would assume. That is Mike Grell art. Not 100% sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure. Should be anyway, right? Uh, Dawn of DC Night Terrors, number three. Uh, Night Terrors Robin, number two. Night Terrors Green Lantern, number two. And Night Terror's Darkest Hour, number three, variant cover. It's just, I guess, Night Terror's number three. There's that. We should get a black light and see what those look like under the black light. I don't have one here at the shop, so that'll probably never happen, but it should. Okay, last little stack out of here. Regular cover for Danger Street. Number eight. This one is not cardstock. Tappy Tappy. It does have a nice thick cover compared to those Marvel books, though. Book three. Warlord. All right, here is Night Terrors. Shazam. Number two. In case you haven't noticed, I'm taking it real easy on the Night Terrors titles. Uh, trying to not overdo it. Night Terrors Zaytana, number two. Uh, Multiversity Harley screws up the DCU. Huh, number six. Regular cover, of course. 
Teen Titans, world's finest Teen Titans. Number two, Wildcats, number 10. Superman Annual 2023. And last, we have Spirit World, number four. So, I, oh, I guess that's our show for the week. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.